Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the third day of Hanover Mesa 2024. We're excited to be broadcasting here at the Delta booth live from the fairground of Hanover, Germany. I am Judy Wu, and I'm honored to be your host for today's live stream. The focus of today's live stream will be at the forefront of the EU energy transition. Today, we will be exploring together Delta's innovative solutions for the rapidly growing EV market. Let's dive in together to see what we got to offer for the future green transportation. Let's dive in to explore more. Follow me. Delta offers a full range of DC charging portfolio that is suitable for different applications such as commercial, fleet, and public charging. Today, I'm happy to introduce you to our product manager, Mr. Jorge Solis, to introduce you what are we demonstrating here on the booth. Jorge, can you show us a bit more? Yes, of course. Hi, Judy. First of all, and hi, everyone watching online. Um, that we at Delta cover the full portfolio that offers EV drivers each possibility to charge everywhere they want, from commercial purposes, meaning shops or public parking spots, to high power chargers on the way, on the highway, they can also cover that need. Here we have the DC Wallbox 50, a perfect example that compact charging stations can be the right thing for commercial purposes. Here, with this charging station, you can charge up to three vehicles at the same time, two times DC with 25 kilowatt and 25 kilowatt plus one AC socket or charging cable. That is the full power. If you only charge one car, one vehicle at a time, you can get the 50 kilowatt full power out of it. Um, it's a compact station and it's perfect for the mentioned applications. Here on this side, we have our Slim 100, where we have kept the same concept, but given it more power. As the name gives a hint, 100 kilowatt output power. Here you can also charge up to three vehicles at the same time, two times DC, with 50 and 50, plus the same 22 kilowatt on the AC socket. This charging station, compared to other sta similar stations, it gives a 55% smaller footprint than the other ones. Also, it's perfect for commercial application, especially we have thought about it in underground parking garage where the space is confined, it's perfectly for that use case. Public charging, no problem. We have covered it with the payment terminal so that the EV driver can also charge ad hoc without the need of an RFID card, they can just use their credit card for that. Fun fact, some people think that this is only for commercial purposes, but this charging station was also thought to be used in a fleet application and truck application with overnight charging. We at Delta believe that to achieve a more sustainable future, the transportation needs to become electric. And we are designing charging stations for every need. In this case, we have our UFC 500, which is our high power charging station. This charging station is integrated with the Delta high efficiency power modules that now give up to 97% efficiency with silicon carbide technology inside of it. This charging station is specially thought for public charging, especially in highway, where the time to charge should be low, but the efficiency and the output power should be as much in order to recharge the battery as fast as possible. We also are covering European regulations with the introduction of the payment terminals such as AFIR and German national standards such as Eichrecht. While thinking of accessibility, we have also designed a charging cable management system with a movable arm that has now a reach up to 4 meters. This helping the customer to not carry such a heavy charging cable and making it easier to plug it into his vehicle. Our customers can combine high power charging with other Delta products to address challenges such as grid stability and load management. With products such as PV inverters, energy storage systems, and also our Delta grid load management platform. 
Thank you, Jorge, for your detailed introduction. With the rise of EV and EV chargers, it is necessary that a robust infrastructure is in place to reduce the impact to the grid. For this, Delta has a full range of solutions that we can offer, and I'm happy to invite now Mr. Gilira, our solutions product manager, to introduce us what Delta has to offer. Hi, Guy. Can you introduce us what Delta is demonstrating here at Hanover Mesa 2024? Sure. Thanks, Judy. Um, so this year, we're introducing a new megawatt level energy storage solution for large commercial and industrial applications, as well as utility scale. So it is the case in CNI applications that business owners have to cope with the challenge of eliminating excess peak demand in um, their facilities, which is where a solution like this comes in. So a little bit of background on this. This can be tackled the traditional way, which is requesting that the utility expands the capacity at the point of connection to the grid. However, that comes with its own challenges. For instance, the costs, um, and perhaps more importantly, the time required to perform this expansion. It's not something that happens overnight. It might take weeks, months, perhaps a few years, depending on the challenges that, you, that the utility is facing. So an energy storage solution can provide a buffer to deliver the excess power to the installation site, to the building, to the facility, whereas another solution could have less benefits, so fewer features that are added much like an energy storage system can provide, such as um, power backup, time of use optimization, self-consumption optimization of locally generated power, for example, from PV panels on the roof, and so on and so forth. So this megawatt level solution is adequate for medium and large scale uh, CNI applications, as well as utility scale. So in utility scale, the solution can be used, for example, together with PV power plants, whereas the co-location of PV power and energy storage can make it possible to perform price arbitrage in a sense that the power generated through the PV arrays and inverters does not have to be sold to the utility immediately, but rather at least a portion of it saved for later use and then later sales, uh, so selling that power to the utility at a later point of time where the price paid for that power can be higher. Um, so a little bit back to the CNI, commercial and industrial types of solutions. We're also showcasing some systems that we launched previously. So last year, we introduced the CNI or kilowatt level skid mounted energy storage solution, which comes with quite a few added benefits. For example, everything is pre-configured, pre-wired, um, and pre-tested at the factory. So the installation time is reduced greatly. There are lower risks associated with uh, materials or preparations on site. So this can help businesses uh, streamline and optimize their own uh, operations. And it's worth mentioning that any energy storage solution from Delta can be either shipped with our own energy management system called Delta Grid or without one, so that the solution is integrated with whatever EMS is available on site. If it is delivered with Delta Grid, it will be one of the different flavors. What you see here is one of them, focused on EV charging specifically, with a few special features for it. There are other types of Delta Grid systems, other models, which are focused at different functions of the solution. In a nutshell, that's it. If you'd like to learn more, feel free to stop by and discuss projects or solutions with our own engineers here at Hanover Mesa. Thank you, Guy, for all the insights you have just shared. As you have seen today, Delta offers a complete EV charging infrastructure solutions that is in line with the EU energy transition direction. If you're curious to learn more, we will be here at Hanover Mesa 2024 until the 26th of April. We are located at Hall 11 C05 and we look forward for you to visit us.
we will end our live stream here today. Thank you very much for tuning in. We wish you a pleasant day and goodbye.